You're listening to the cheapest produced podcast on internet today, Propaganda Comics Podcast. I'm your host, Benjamin Blankenship. I have never been, nor am I, a member of the Communist Party. There's a lot of things that could be discussed about comics. Maybe you've read them, maybe you've followed them, maybe you won't. But on the religious spectrum, you may find this entertaining. Today, I'm not going to talk about Comic Gate. Comic Gate is a thing. You can YouTube it easily. It's where people are essentially trying to push leftist woke ideals in comics, uh, disregarding all of the readers that have followed those comics and then call them everything but white when they don't absolutely love and endear the things that they're trying to shove down their throat. But that's not what we're on today. So today's topic, I thought, how could I religify the comic talk? And super easily, in fact, you know, different characters in comics have a profession of faith. And today I want to talk to you all about Pentecostal, full gospel characters, specifically one more than all of the others in comics. Does that exist like in mainstream? I'm not talking about some weird Christian variant. Absolutely. And we're looking at Marvel today. So while there have been a few encounters, like there was a five-issue series of Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane, where Pat Boone uh, came onto the scene. We obviously have in the Pentecostal Assemblies of God, you know, full gospel faction. We have Elvis Presley and people like that that are super well known. Uh, there, there have been others. Um, there was a one-run villain in uh, the Justice League of America comics, and his name was the Anarchist. That was his bad guy identity name. And he got a power ring, which made him a faith healer. But he also put on a disguise and had a team of bad guys and did all kinds of crimes that they couldn't really even stop at first because the ring was so powerful. Green Lantern, I'm spoiler alert, by the way. Green Lantern finds out about it. They keep the ring from charging up. He doesn't have the juice he needs to fight the Justice League of America. They whoop on them. Uh, there is in Comico Comics, uh, in the Essentials Volume 1 issue or episode, whatever you call it, 22. It's where he makes his first appearance. There is a character named Jeremy Skagg, who is essentially the Reverend Jimmy Swaggart. He creates a team called Rapture. Uh, it's either Rapture or The Rapture, and it's a bunch of... Um, bunch of characters right there that's under his league, led by God. But there's another character that we find the most notable of all the Pentecostal full gospel characters. Now, there have been four different characters with this name, so I want to be clear that they're not all the same guy. His name is Fool Killer. That's Fool Killer. He initially made his appearance in the Man-Thing comics, he had a paralysis. He was healed by a faith healer pastor, or otherwise the Holy Ghost, but, you know, through the pastor. That man became his mentor. He began to be a preacher. He looked up and, and really thought a lot of this guy. There was a lot of anti-Vietnam protests and whatnot going on. And he decided that all these people were a bunch of degenerate fools and that they all deserved to die. He found his mentor, pastor, in a compromising situation to which he did the Christian thing, I guess, <laughs> right? He killed him. He killed him. He preserved his body in formaldehyde, and he used his former pastor, former mentor's money to finance his vigilante acts. Fool Killer, the original, the one that I'm talking about, his outfit looks a lot like Zorro. He has a weapon called the Purifier Gun, and it's a ray gun, and it just um, it disintegrates. It just completely, boom, nothing left of the people that he kills. He sends them a letter about 24 hours before, tells them that he's fool killer, that he's coming to get them, that they need to spend this last day of their life to repent, or else they'll be cast into the fires of hell. 
Bill's led of God to do what he's doing. So right off the bat, that's who we're talking about. That is the man who feels like he's appointed by God, Fool Killer. He had his own comic for a while, Marvel Comics again. There was a flashback thing where he's in a Spider-Man comic. If you look him up, you'll see him. He's got the Zorro hat, mask, the big boots with the cuff on them, and he's holding a laser gun. So uh, that's the most notable for the Pentecostal full gospel characters in comics. This has been Blankenship, and this is the first of many what you'll hopefully find entertaining podcast. I hope you enjoy it. Tell your friends. And we appreciate all of your support. If you like this, if you want quirky, satire, parody, overly politicized, media, biased, and entangled um, sorts of comics, support us by subscribing at www.patreon.com slash Propaganda Comics. Thanks so much. You have a great day.